Well, that's a good question, bro. And it's a, it's a tough one to answer, so we'll, uh, we'll see how I do here. But basically, there's a lot of factors that go into uh, how clouds are able to produce as much rain as they are. And uh, one of the major factors is, first, how much available moisture is there in the air? And a measure of that can be the dew point. That tells you, so how much available water is there? The higher the dew point, the more available water. More available water equals the potential for more rain. So that's a big part of it. But then it comes down to, uh, say, the structure of the atmosphere or the dynamics of that cloud. So perhaps on a day where there isn't a lot of available moisture, but that little storm or that cloud is well organized and keeps drawing air into itself. Well, then it might be able to continue producing rain even though there isn't a lot of moisture. So uh, it's a tricky question, but uh, one that we, we struggle with uh, here at CBS6. And of course, that becomes all the more complicated in the winter. That's when all right, how much rain or how much snow is it going to produce? Well, that's one part of it, but then the temperature becomes a part of it because if it's a few degrees warmer, that might end up being just a half inch of slop. If it's a few degrees colder, well, that same amount of precipitation can be a lot more snow. So lots of, uh, lots of uh, tricky little factors in that, but that's one of the main things we struggle with in forecasting. Good question. Ro, it's easy to ask us those questions. You can send them to Ask the Weather Team at CBS6Albany.com, or like many, you can just send them to my Facebook page.